There's no money in South Bank, there's no work. South Bank itself was left behind years ago. People of South Bank are remarkable, and this town is remarkable. This is a very run-down community, it's a very poor community. This is their salvation. It's a love story of how people fall in love with an amazing art gallery, an amazing family of people. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll come back later just to open a few of these lids. I'll do it. All right, dude. Just for record, we all have different skills. <laughs> I'm able to take the lid off the beams when the thing snaps. He does that. Okay? And uh, everyone has different skills, and that is the beauty of life. So Back Gallery has been open since 2014. It was set up by Azza Mohammed, who is a Kurdish artist who originally came from Iraq in the early 2000s. Originally the building was on the demolition list of the local council. Just as they started demolishing the back three buildings, they said, okay, you can have it now. After the roof was disappeared, the back was gone completely, the building was destroyed. Since 2014, he's been rebuilding it ever so slowly. Until the stage right now, we're in this lovely exhibition hall. With funding being so difficult for the art side, it's gone more of the community side. So we do a lot more activities involved in the local community. Our work, our project is always based on working with the community, giving the power to the community. We need funders supporting us, empowering us so we can empower other people. We don't try to change people, we're just only giving them space. This is a place of sanctuary and inviting people in and having a heart for that. There is nothing else on this planet more important, and I believe that, and hopefully I live that. Well, when I came over to South Bank, I was a mess. When I first walked in, I was nervous. I was thinking, am I going to get on with him? Are there people who were saying, well, we can't have him here, he's not the right, right type of person for us. But when I walked in, they, they, they were saying hello, they were you know, making me feel a bit more as a, as a team. He is, he's my right hand man. If you, want to, if you want to say hello to him. <laughs> South Bank used to be a thriving community. I'm South Bank born and bred. I love the place. I love the people. We need a bit of regeneration. You know, what's, what we've achieved in a short period of time is absolutely phenomenal. With our warm space that we started last year, it was a big driver for us to work with old people. We worked with a local care home. They struggled with mental and physical health and they found the gallery warm and welcoming. And that's what we are as well as a whole. And they've got no one to talk to. A lot of them sit at home by themselves. And just to sit and talk and then to react with other people, it's, it's a lifesaver. You've got to have a purpose. And this place gives people a purpose. South Bank needs this gallery. No matter what, they need this. The kids need it. There's art classes, there's loads to do, there's music, we have different events on. There's a lot of lonely people out there. It's somewhere for the rock, you know, and it's warm. You know, it's a bit of a refuge for people. Many people are asking me, why South Bank? How can to be success in South Bank? I think we answer that question with no, it just verbally to tell the people what we did in South Bank and what we do. We came from a long, long, long way. Without the community, we wouldn't exist because that's what that's what makes 90% of the gallery. That's all we've got because I cannot imagine I be anything else. The best revenge is to love well. We're in a world where lots of people are sinking and finding it hard, but we will be that place of refuge for as long as we have breath in our body. So yeah, we'd like to see that happen. This place is home.